would you... Would you remain standing? Gentlemen, remove your hats. And please join me in singing our national anthem. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the so gallantly streaming and the rocky If you wish, please bow your heads and pray with me. God, thank you for bringing everyone here together on this beautiful day to celebrate graduation. We appreciate all the things you have done for us to lead us to this point of success in our lives and helping us to persevere through every stressful moment that high school has brought our way. Thank you for the support of teachers, family members, and friends who have been there for us continuously. Lord, we ask you to continue to give up to guide us on whatever journey you have planned for us. Please give us strength, confidence, and optimism as we step forward into our futures. Thank you, God. Amen. You may be seated. It is my privilege this afternoon to introduce the superintendent of Goshen Schools, Dr. Diane Woodworth. Dr. Woodworth earned her bachelor's degree in math education from Goshen College, a master's degree in guidance and counseling from IU South Bend, and later her doctoral degree from Purdue University. In the field of education, Dr. Woodworth was a high school math teacher for many years before becoming a guidance counselor at Northridge High School and later the principal at Westview High School. In 2005, Dr. Woodworth came to Goshen Community Schools where she served as Director of Personnel, Assistant Superintendent of Buildings, Grounds, and Technology, and then Deputy Superintendent of Education Services before becoming the superintendent. When she is not working on school-related issues, Dr. Woodworth enjoys walking and riding tandem bicycle with her husband and meeting friends for coffee. Speaking for all of the students of Goshen Community Schools, thank you, Dr. Woodworth, for what you've done for us to help us reach this point in our lives. Now please help me welcome our superintendent, Dr. Diane Woodworth. Thank you, Raina. Congratulations are certainly in order for you today, class of 2018. This is your day. You made it, you did it, you were successful in reaching this very important goal, this milestone in your lives. And we, your school community, are extremely proud of you and all that you have accomplished. We are also excited about what you will yet accomplish in the world as you go forth, as you leave us to go to jobs, colleges and universities, technical schools, community colleges, apprenticeship programs, military training, volunteer service, 
and the list goes on and on because each of you is very unique in what your next steps in life will be and in what you will offer to our world. We also know that your contributions are what the world does need right now. And I know that all of you are and will be great. And what I mean by that is what Martin Luther King explained about being great. And that is, not everybody can be famous, but everybody can be great. Because greatness is determined by service. So I challenge each of you to go forward and be great. Find where you can serve the greater good. And I have utmost confidence that you will indeed do that. I'd also like to take a minute to thank all the family members and friends who are gathered here together to celebrate with the class of 2018 and to help us celebrate and cherish this great day. So thank you for your support for all of these young people and for your support of Goshen Community Schools. And thank you again for coming today to celebrate with all of us this commencement ceremony. So best wishes to you, class of 2018, as you go forth. We wish you the absolute best. You deserve no less. And for those of you who are leaving Goshen, do come back someday, because we would all welcome you back with open arms to join our wonderful community. So again, congratulations, class of 2018. Disclaimer, this is not a speech. This is a lesson. So I'm sorry to all those of you that thought learning in high school is over, because it's not, at least for the next 90 seconds. What if I told you that you could reach any goals you have in life and that you're already capable of doing so? Well, first of all, you would probably question whether I know what I'm talking about, because this early in life, I more than likely have not reached many of my own life goals, let alone know what they are. Well, even though this is true, I feel like the path I took in high school taught me how to reach them, through hard work. Hard work meant many things to me and many others in high school. It meant putting our best efforts into all of our classes and extracurriculars. It meant that when mistakes were made and failures were reached, that we would not take them as reasons to give up, but reasons to work harder towards achieving our goals. It ultimately meant choosing a path in high school and being dedicated to it until the very end. We all took different paths in high school but have all reached the same destination and are about to achieve the same goal, becoming a high school graduate. I think this shows that it is not what path that is taken that is important, but the amount of hard work put forth while taking that path. That said, I think that all of us today, whether we are aware of it or not, already know how to reach our goals by working hard towards them. And I think that it's once we realize this that we become unstoppable in doing so. Our hard work has brought us this far, but the journey towards achieving our life goals has really just begun. You've been taught this lesson, and now you're ready for the test. Go out there and ace it by working hard to reach your goals, because hard work makes anything possible. Thank you, and good luck to the class of 2018. About 12 years ago, we were six. And I don't know about you, but I remember my first day of school. I was so excited with my Jonas Brothers lunchbox and my backpack that was full of crayons, scissors, and Kleenex. And I thought I really needed that backpack, but I would put nothing in it the rest of the school year. I was missing my two front teeth, and my parents were there taking pictures, some glamour shots, as I know they were. And in some ways, not much has changed in the last 12 years. Here I am today. OK, so I, don't, I didn't bring my Jonas Brothers lunchbox, and I'm glad my two front teeth came in because that would be a look. My parents are here, though, still taking pictures and wishing me well. And even I'm still very excited. When I was six, I had no clue about the journey I was about to embark on. I had no idea that there was a second grade or even a third grade, but I was just excited to be in the first grade. Today, we're back at the start. And in some ways, we're wiser now, but in others, we could still be six for all we know. Our parents or loved ones are there, still wondering what we'll do, who we'll meet, and who we'll become. In the words of Anthony Corvino, you don't receive respect, you earn it. And you aren't given opportunity, you fight for it. 
Even though we've made it through the last 12 years, we now face an entire new world in game. Leaving behind the old rules and our lunch boxes and empty backpacks, but not the knowledge and people we've met. In the last 12 years, I'm sure we've all made mistakes, some probably bigger than others. I mean, I've seen some of you drive. And just <laughs> like when we were six, go and make interesting mistakes, make amazing mistakes, make glorious and fantastic mistakes, as said by Neil Gaiman. Congratulations, year of 2018, we made it. I'd like to share a story with you today of uh, something that happened uh, four years ago. Uh, four years ago, I uh, spent an entire summer uh, wanting to play soccer. Uh, I practiced all, all summer, and uh, I'd been playing soccer up until uh, my freshman year. I tried out for the soccer team, and I did not make it. Um, I failed. And, uh, and although at the time I was very sad, I went home that day, I rode the bus, it was terrible. Uh, then, uh, for a week, I did nothing after school. Uh, one day, someone pulled me out of uh, my bio class, I was a teacher, Mr. Du Bois, and asked me if I wanted to run cross country. And I said, no, uh, that does, that's not for me. Um, if any of you know me, you know that I've run cross country all four years of high school. Uh, and it's been very success successful. That, that year, I, ran cross I did end up running cross country, and we went to state that year, and I got to run there. Uh, I, it's a story that I like to share and I share a lot because life does not always go the way that we plan it. Um, things don't always happen the way that we want them to go and, and they probably never will. Right now, on, uh, I'm on city council and we're talking about something called TIF, that's tax increment financing. And I'm still trying to understand um, what, what that means. Uh, but so are the members, the council members, sitting next to me, and they're 50, 60-year-old people. Maybe not that old, but. Uh, but the adults are still learning just like I am. And sometimes adults will be just as clueless as we are. So I think it's important to have respect for adults, but it's also, there's no reason to fear them. And I think we've learned that too, not just me. I, want, I think it's also important to appreciate the work that these adults have put into our lives. Everything that we do here at the high school is thank thanks to these people who have put so much time and investment and energy into us. So it's important for us to remember to give back. And in giving back, we learn and earn pride for where we're from. Uh, being prideful is something that's, remember, I guess, being prideful of where you're from, who you are, is important. Own who you are. Acuérdate, si eres Latino, la importancia de estar aquí, estar en una escuela de que te representa y somos 50% de toda la escuela, ¿verdad? Entonces, ser orgulloso de dónde eres y la pelea que estás haciendo, ¿verdad? Um, um, so, being proud of who you are. Um, and I'd like to end that in, in, a, in a quote about moderation. And that quote of moderation, remember when you're being ambitious, is that a man without the sauce is lost, but that same man can still be lost in that same sauce. Thank you.
Uh, good afternoon, fellow graduates, Goshen High School faculty, uh, family, and friends. My name is Matthew Herman, and today I would like to tell you about a life-changing experience I had this year. Because of the way my schedule worked out, Monday was the only day of the week that I had a lunch. I decided I would take advantage of this unique opportunity to do something that was definitely outside of my comfort zone. During the first day of each week, I would take part in something I like to call my cafeteria experiment. The rules are very simple. Each Monday, I had to sit with a group of people that I did not know very well and try to have a conversation with them. Sometimes I would find a lot to talk about with them, and other times I would just enjoy listening to what they had to say. Uh, for those of you that are keeping track at home, there are approximately 76 tables and 456 chairs in our cafeteria. How do I know this? Because I charted them, I charted the lunchroom on a piece of graph paper to track everywhere I ate lunch. It was, it was time consuming. <laughs> Over the course of the year, I have been able to sit at all 11 rows of tables in the cafeteria. Uh, one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this was because we are graduating from a school of almost 2,000 students, but each one of us has only met a small number of them. I believe that meeting new people teaches us a lot about the world as well as ourselves, and doing so is very important. As we go out into the world, there will be much more than just 2,000 people to meet. A website called blog.adioma.com estimates that the number of people you will meet within your lifetime is about 80,000. While this may sound like a lot using modern birth rate estimates, it's actually only 0.0005% of the people that will live during your lifetime, or about one in every 200,000. My challenge for you, class of 2018, is to meet as many new people as you can. Whether that is at your school, your workplace, or your location at which you are doing service, interacting with strangers is our best chance at understanding them. There's a quote I like from Amadeus Wolf, which says, Sometimes the greatest adventure is simply a conversation. Once that happens, these people are no longer strangers, but friends, colleagues, and family. Thank you. Today is kind of a big celebration of everything that we have done right over the years. Maybe you were really good at sports or music, technology, building trades, academics, or art, or maybe you have had perfect attendance since kindergarten. But what about all of those things that you haven't done right, or all of those things you never did because you didn't believe you could ever do them? It's easy to look at yourself and decide what you are good at and just stick with those things and not try anything new, but it's also kind of boring. And I'm pretty sure none of us want to look back on our lives and say they were boring. So, that means if you want to have an interesting life, somewhere along the road, you will have to take risks and do things that scare you. And yes, I know that everybody says it, but it's a lot harder than it seems. It involves being vulnerable and, unfortunately, messing up. And if you know me, you know that I hate messing up. I really hate messing up, but I love telling funny stories. And I figured out through the years that the funniest stories are stories about being stupid and, unfortunately, messing up. Nobody wants to hear about that time you drove from your house to school perfectly, following all the traffic laws and wearing your seatbelt with a full tank of gas. But that time you spilled your coffee all over yourself while you were driving and the sunroof was open and it started to rain and your entire car got wet and then you got stung by a bee and then your car broke down? That's hilarious. <laughs> anyway, my point is not that you should be a reckless driver. Please drive safely. But the next time you are afraid to do something because you are afraid you'll mess up, don't take yourself so seriously. Just remember, it will either make a great story or it will teach you a really valuable lesson, or both. So, if you're wondering what the heck I'm even trying to say, so am I. Let me try to sum it all up. Take risks, be vulnerable, and do things that you think you'll be bad at. Have a sense of humor. Don't wait for an interesting life to come to you. You have the ability to make your own unique, amazing life full of exciting, embarrassing, and wonderful moments. Don't let the things you believe about yourself, good or bad, hold you back because of fear of failure. Now go, live your life. Everyone else is probably just as confused as you are. Thank you. Hey everyone, I'll try to make this speech like me, relatively short and sweet. <laughs> In case you don't know me, I'm Nathan. 
We went to high school together. Um, first of all, wow. We survived four years of high school. Four years. As the great time traveler Marty McFly from Back to the Future once said, this is heavy. Through the past four years, the world has faced many dangers. Ebola, ISIS, dabbing, and facial acne. <laughs> Despite the odds not being ever in our favor, we've made it through, grown physically and mentally, and have earned the right to walk across a stage where everyone tries their hardest not to trip and fall and embarrass themselves in front of thousands. So try not to trip and fall. Um, through motivation, determination, and procrastination, we've made it. Congratulations, to class of 2018. We've, uh, we really outdid ourselves this time. As you walk across the stage and leave this building for one final time, you may wonder, what am I leaving behind? What's my legacy here? At the end of the day, the legacy you leave behind isn't about wealth, popularity, or trophies. As Shannon Alder said, a legacy is etched into the minds of others and the stories they share about you. So you should carve your name on hearts, not tombstones. Be kind, love always, and leave positive legacies wherever you go. Our class won't be remembered by grades, but rather by relationships we have made. Some relationships will endure while others fade away into the distance. Tables turn, bridges burn, you live and learn. As we embark on our separate journeys, filled with both challenges and success, I ask that you follow your dreams and fly through the turbulence to soar above. The opportunity to achieve greatness is within every one of our grasps, but it is our decision whether we leap at that opportunity that will make or break the rest of our lives, and I hope every one of you leaps. People say that the sky is the limit, but we know that they are dead wrong. The sky is only the beginning. Don't do stupid stuff, but have fun. Stay viral, class of 2018. Cheers. Cheers. It is my honor today to introduce the principal of Goshen High School, Dr. Barry Younghans. Dr. Younghans graduated from Valparaiso University with a degree in physical education. He later earned a master's in athletic administration from Western Illinois University, an education specialist degree from Indiana State, and his PhD from Indiana State University. Dr. Younghans taught physical education at Towncrest Junior High and Goshen Middle School before becoming the athletic director at Fairfield. After four years, Dr. Younghans returned to Goshen to become an administrator at Goshen Middle School, followed by two years as principal at Chandler Elementary. He then moved to director of support services, director of secondary education, and later assistant superintendent for Goshen Community Schools. Dr. Younghans has been the principal at Goshen High School since 2012 and has been an administrator in the district for 20 years. Dr. Younghans is married to his wife, Lisa, a GHS graduate, and is the father of four children who have all graduated from Goshen High School. Please welcome Dr. Young Hans. So I'll keep my, uh, my comments brief this afternoon. I, I appreciate uh, parents and everyone coming here today. It's a great day for these guys. Um, welcome to the commencement for the class of 2018. Pretty cool, pretty cool. <clears throat> I read somewhere in last month, I think it was on Twitter, which, by the way, is where all the cool kids do research now, um, that I read this comment, never miss an opportunity to make someone smile. I think that's a pretty nice sentiment to send students out into the world with. The class of 2018 faces a myriad of problems as they leave GHS. These lessons include racism, sexual discrimination, gun violence, political divide, that is certainly as great as at any time in my lifetime, and that is a long time. Uh, but here's the deal for students, for you to take out of here. If you care about one another, if you care for one another, and you take time to make time for each other, perhaps your generation, unlike other generations, might be able to solve these problems. It's very cliche, but also very true that life is fleeting. My hope for you is that you truly never miss an opportunity to make someone smile. Uh, and if only that is the measure of success and you can do that, then you've lived a healthy life. Congratulations. Uh, I want to now introduce the uh, award winners, the academic award winners for the class of 2018. The first group I'd like to have stand up is the uh, 
governor's work ethic certificates. You have the white stoles. Would you please rise? All there are 19 of you. These students uh, earned academic awards for uh, having 98% attendance. Uh, they had to have less than uh, two, four tardies to school. They had to carry C averages throughout their entire career. And they had to have uh, a job or a work uh, component to their education. These are our governor's work ethics certif certification winners this year. Congratulations. You may be seated. Our cum laude students, these are students who had 3.5 GPAs to 3.74 GPAs. When I call your name, please rise, stay seated, and if the audience would hold their applause until everyone's up, uh, that would be great. Lillian Akins, Carlos Alvarado Ortega, Richard Ambrosian II, Daniel Barajas, Anthony Beatrice, Austin Bontrager, Noelia Calderon Amazola, Sophia Chupp, Mariana Cortez, Kelly Cortez, Madeline Cross, Jennifer Escobedo, Joanna Gomez Rios, Sophia Gulewicz, Gulevich, sorry, Sarari Hernandez Martinez, Logan Hostetler, William Line, Joshua Marquez, Tara Martin, Melanie Mendoza Perez, Nicholas Miller, Emily Ott, Ana Maria Ramirez, Miranda Reyes Flores, Leslie Rios Mendoza, Tammy Rivas, Berenice Rodriguez, Courtney Smith, Ian Smith, Adolfo Villegas, and Hannah Weirich. Those students achieved a GPA of 3.5 to 3.74. Congratulations. You may be seated. The next group of students that I will introduce are the magna cum laude students. These students had a GPA of 3.75 to 3.99. When I call your name, please rise. Rudy Arroyo. Jennifer Avilla. Lucas Bontrager, Nicholas Brandenberger, Cora Campanello, Stephania Kubaravas Palomino, Megan Harmelink, Samantha Hartsaw, Gabriel Hartzler, Hannah Hickman, Ebony Jessen, Catherine Kircher, Rosalina Kuznetsov, Ho Hoel Lara, Lara, sorry, Jacob Leakdi, Tristan Manchuka, Nayelia Munoz, Alexandria Olson, Matthew Roth, Daniel Saylor, Katie Schlichter, Hannah Scott, Shiv Sony, Jimmy Torres, Enrique Valdez Jr. Jacqueline Yeasel, Brockton Yoder. Those students maintained a GPA of 3.75 to 3.99. Well done. You may be seated. The next group of students, summa cum laude students, these students maintained a 4.0 GPA, cumulative or greater, over their four-year career at Goshen, Goshen High School. Jason Barajonas Rosales. Lauren Barton, Adriana Berger, Zoe Brown, Olivia Koblenz, Mackenzie Edmonds, Cade Fisher, Benjamin Good Elliott, Ariana Herrera Fernandez, Matthew Herman, Katherine Hirschberger, Lauren Hugenboom, Mansura Kermani, Haley Kirkton, Jillian Kissinger, Greta Clausen, Hannah Kurtz, Nathan Mann, 
Adriana Marti Martinez Diaz de Leon, Simon Myers, Brian Olvera, Gabriel Ott, Anna Petko, Elena, Elena Meyer Reimer, Ashley Sanchez Gonzalez, Christopher Sanchez, Benjamin Sapp, Sophia Shaquille, Raina Schreiner Barger, Shannon Smoot, Josephine Strader, Olivia Thomas, Philip Wirtz, and Shelby Yoder. Those students achieved a 4.0 GPA over the course of four years at Goshen High School. Congratulations, please be seated. The following students earned Black International Baccalaureate stoles for being full International Baccalaureate Diploma candidates. Would you please rise? Lauren Hugenboom, Mansura Kurmani, Elena Meyer Reimer, Berenice Rodriguez, Ricky Salgado, Safia Shaquille, Shannon Smoot, and Josephine Strader. Those students uh, took the most rigorous academic coursework that Goshen High School has and uh, were able to accomplish that as well as writing an extended essay and performing a uh, significant number of community service, uh, com community service hours. Thanks you and congratulations. You may be seated. I think we're to the most important part of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, out of courtesy to all graduates and their families, please hold your applause and refrain from cheers until the name of the last graduate is read. This allows all names to be heard clearly. All right, class of 2018, Mrs. Clark, we ready? All right, stand up front row. Jerron Patrick Sage. Kayla Ann Guthrie, Anthony Scott Ackerman, Lillian May Akins, Carlos Alexis Alvarado Ortega, Richard Matthew Ambrosen II, Casey Ann Andrews, Noralis Michelle Aponte Rivera. Kathy Arellano. Junior Argueta Garcia. Yanin Lisbeth Ariola. Rudy Alonso Arroyo. Juan Camilo Asteiza Bravo. Brandy Guadalupe Avila. Jennifer Annette Avila Dominguez. Kylie Dora Back. Anaí, or Silvia Anaí Baltazar Gonzalez. Jason Rene Barahona Rosales. Daniel Barajas. Joshua David Bargerhoff. Ethan Paul Barnes. Lauren Rose Barton. Anthony Charles Beatrice. Brooke Lauren Bechtel. Caitlin Noel Bell. Jacob John Bellman. Adriana Lane Berger. Ashia Kamoya Black. Brock L. Blankenbaker.
Chase Thomas Brown, Adrian Robles Martinez, Austin Michael Bontrager, Lucas Anthony Bontrager, Brianna Lee Booker, Daniela Melissa Bozo, Nicholas Lynn Brandenberger, Tyler Owen Brinson, Deshaun Adonye Brown, Zoe Rose McKenzie Brown, Zachary Stephen Buckmaster, Ashley Dawn Bunger, Michaela Allison Burkhead, Joseph Daniel Berkheimer, Jarius Amar Burnett, Brendan Scott Butler, Andy Peachy Butsikan, Noah Joseph Calderon, Walfrey Estuardo Calderon, Noelia Calderon, Andrew Calvillo, Cora Rose Campanello, Noah Cowett, Denise Yetzabel Carmona, Sebastian K. Carranza, Miguel Angel Castaneda, Jr., Angela Castillo, Manuel Castillo, Grace Aaron Catron, Marla Yalin Casares, Jonathan Cedeno, Autumn Rose Chester, Rito Giovanni Chequito Monreal, Sophia Joanne Chupp, Ralph Clem, Olivia Jane Koblenz, Tyler Joseph Kolpitz, Tamron Tiara Connor, Alex Salvador Contreras, Sandra Lydia Contreras, Air Ibdiel Contreras Beltran, Carter M. Cork, Mariana Cortez, Kelly Nicole Cortez, Carlos Alfredo Cortez Garcia, Taylor Lynn Coulter, Trenton Carl Coulter, Stephanie Covarrubias Palomino, Taylor R. Crago, Peyton Drew Kripe, Madeline Lee Cross, Flavio Cruz Cortez, Matthew Eric Damer, Jorge Luis Damron, Evan Michael De Francesco, Lucas Manuel De Moya, Jesus Enrique Delgado, Elka De DeVoe, Yadira Andrea Diaz, Michael Espinosa Dominguez, Ryan Christian Du Bois, Nicholas Eugene Eby, Mackenzie Grace Edmonds, Christian Ross Elias, Jennifer Escobedo, Giselle Esparza, Jennifer Esqueda Tapia, Cade Matthew Fisher, Colin Anthony Fletcher, Abigail, Abigail Jessica Flores, Fernando Miguel Flores, Brandon Flores Ortiz, Jaden Marie Fowler, Edgar Jesus Braga, 
Madison Grace Fry, Deja Marcel Fry, Nathan Daniel Galloway, Angel Galvin, Alexander Alfredo Garcia, Alexandra Nava Garcia, Christopher Garcia, Diego Roberto Garcia, Angel Rafael Garcia Vasquez, Ladies and gentlemen, remember, we're trying to hear everybody's names. Jasmine Garcia Hernandez. Esmeralda Garcia Osorno. Mackenzie Rose Gerger. Dylan Goff. Carmelo Gomez. Joanna Gomez Rios. Adriana Juanita Gonzalez. Cecilia Nicole Gonzalez. Guillermo Gonzalez. Lydia Olivia Gonzalez. Benjamin Good Elliott. Helicia M. Greer. Kira Isla Marie Gruntman. Sofia Gulevich. Rene Osmar Gutierrez Villa. Justin Dara Ham. <laughs> Matthew Thomasley Hamilton. Susan Marie Hammond. Megan Lee Harmelink. Maxwell Jacob Harmon. Samantha K. Hartsaw. Gabriel Matias Hartzler. Haley Marie Heater. Thomas Jeff Heim. Nicholas James Hensley. Mauricio Hernandez. Orlando Hernandez. Fernando Hernandez. Sarai Hernandez Martinez. Marcos Francisco Hernandez Morales. Sandra Hernandez Quiros. Pedro Hernandez Rivera. Anaí Hernandez Rodarte. Madeline Atziri Hernandez Cepeda. Carla Natasha Hernandez Walton. Ariana Herrera Fernandez. Matthew Robert Herman. Catherine Renee Hirschberger. Preston Scott Hirschberger. Hannah Noel Hickman. Logan Michael Hostetler. Archer Faust Holdeman. Brandon Kai Holly, Jasmine Andriana Holmes, Joel Amos Honey, Joel Amos Honey, Lauren Nicole Hugenboom, Logan James Hugenboom, Ian Matthew Hostetler, Preston Kendrick Hubbard, Maxwell Jacob Hull. Alexis Raven Hunley. Kaylee Dane Hurst. Viviana Ibarra. Ebony Marie Jessen. Cole Michael Jordan. Irvin Juarez. Michela Lynn Kendera. Hannah Nicole Kantz. Elizabeth Leanne Cater. Lance Joseph Kelly. Michaela Lynn Kelly. 
Luis Kikaj, Catherine Colleen Kircher, Mansira Catherine Kermani, Brandon Lee Kirby, Haley McDaniel Kirkton, Jillian Margaret Kissinger, Greta Lapp Clausen, William A. Koshmeter, Hannah Marie Kurtz, Rosalina Kuznetsov, Laura Labar, Shaky Wuzin Lagari, Francisco Lagunas Jr., Riley Bryant Lamb, Carly Renee Lambeth, Joel Ezekiel Lara, Christian Leos, Nikara E. Lewis, Zhang Li, Alyssa Joy Lichty, Jacob Harriet Lichty, William Larry Line, Diego Armando Loera, Luisa Fernanda Loera Gonzalez, Eduardo Lopez, Christian Andres Lozoya Guzman, Tristan David Machuca, Brenda Castillo Macias, Enrique Madrid, Christian Armando Magallanes, Belen Maldonado, Nathan Schuyler Mann, Sydney Jade Mann, Juliet Mares, Joshua Antonio Marquez, Amelia Isabel Marufo, Tara Marie Martin, Alexandro Manuel Martinez, Anaidis Martinez, Eloy Martinez, Jesus M. Martinez, Madeline Ruby Martinez, Kimberly S. Martinez Davila, Adriana Martinez Diaz de Leon, Bailey Mitchell Mast, Carrie Dane Mathis, Daphne Irene May, Morgan Elizabeth McKenna, Tiana Chanel McLeod, Oscar Medina, Gungun Meta, Jonathan Taylor Mickle, Crystal Mejia Mengucha, Perla Mejia Mengucha, Ryan Lee Melton, Maria Fernanda Menchaca, Melanie Guadalupe Mendoza Perez, Nicholas Jordan Miller, Sydney Grace Miller, Adam Mingucha III, Jaquela Marlu Miracle, Caroline Abigail Miranda, Isaac Miranda, Jose Fernando Miranda Martinez, Reina Ereveni Montalva, Alejandro Montiel Tellez, Homero Miguel Montoya, Sarita Anali Moore, Liam Carlos Morales, Sarai Morales, Belinda, Belinda Sue Lynn Morgan. Tamara Ann Marie Morgan. Leandro Valentino Morillo Rojas. Christina Ann Moyer. Cheyenne Marie Mullins. Beseda Yaslin Munoz. Nayeli Suset Munoz. 
Juana Alexandra Munoz Quesada. Gabriela Muro. Ethan Michael Myers. Simon Andrew Myers. Hewitt Owen Nassiger. Natalie Nava Orozco. Delany Ashlem Navaret Colino. Colina. Alexia Grace Maxine Nietrauer. Ariel Anna Miss Nisley. Trinity Nichelle Norman. Jensen Papi Nocil. Diego Nunez. Christian Ochoa. Sebastian Ovarez Dominguez. Alexandria Nicole Olson. Brian Overa. Edgar N. Overa. Nathaniel A. Overa. Luis Angel Onelas. Brian Robert Ortega. Jessica Ortega Ramirez. Marcello Alonso Ortiz Ralios. Joshua G. Oswald. Emily Deanne Ott. Gabrielle Kathleen Ott. Trent Royal Ottman. Elvis Oviedo. Noah Ray Omedo. Anna Marie Petko. Sebastian Palacios. Jaime Parga. Morgan Olivia Peak. Joseph David Peebles. Jennifer Perez. Joshua Perez. Martin Guadalupe Perez Cruz. Karina Pimental Narvez. Olivia Lynn Quast. Raul Angel Quiros. Shelby Patricia Ray. Anna Maria Estefany Ramirez. Ashley Iris Ramirez Maldonado. Miguel Angel Ramirez Garcia. Yesenia Ramos. Montserrat P. Ramos. Leslie Rangel. Electra Page Reif. Elena Meyer Reimer. Miranda Reyes Flores. Anna Elizabeth Reyes Perez. Janita Jeanette Reyes Lopez. Keegan Alexander Reynolds. Jesse Daniel Rhodes. Robbie Lewis Riegsecker. Savannah Riksmi Rinmeek. Leslie Rios Mendoza. Caleb Nathan Rippey. Tammy Yahida Rivas. Baranice Rodriguez. Eric Anthony Rodriguez. Kirsten Janae Rodriguez. Norali Sarai Rodriguez. Zuriel Rodriguez. Deborah Lise Rodriguez Penegas. Darianne Michaela Rogers. Andrew James Raider. Daisy Samantha Romo. Guadalupe Zitlali Romo. Kenya Sayuri Romo. Zachary Thomas Rondo. Rondo, Zachary Thomas Rondo. Lucas Marshall Roth. Matthew James Roth. 
Charles Ruiz Jr. Dylan Kyle Runyon. Daniel Kenneth Saylor. Julio Cesar Salas. Ruth Salazar Martinez. Juan Alejandro Saldivar. Ricky Jordan Salgado. Christopher Daniel Sanchez. Jocelyn Sanchez. Giovanni Alberto Sanchez. Leslie Anaí Sanchez. Ashley Lynn Sanchez Gonzalez. Diana Jacqueline Sandoval. Evelyn Vanessa Santos. Benjamin Dale Sapp. Jocelyn Olinka Sheeney. Katie Jean Schlichter. Hannah Ruth Scott. Trenton D. Ray Scott. Anthony Joseph Sears. Eric E. Segura. Safia Shaquille. Jeremiah Melvin Douglas Sherrill. Yekaterina Alexandrovna Shevchik. Joel Shipley. Raina Ann Schreiner Barger. Courtney Lee Smith. Danielle Smith. Ian Lee James Smith. Nathan Thomas Smoot. Shannon Rachel Smoot. Shiv J. Sony. Samantha Joe Spiker. Olivia Eulora Stoll. Derek Roger Stotts. Josephine Rose Strader. Madison Sue Ann Stump. Shana Renee Schwarzentruber. Dominic Allen Sweeney. Antonio Jose Tapia. Benjamin Graham Taubert. Brock Adam Tauteris. Zachariah Joel Templeton. Ariel Rose Thomas. Olivia Catherine Thomas. Sophie Mae Thompson. Giovanni Torado. Diego Torajan. Jimmy Eduardo Torres. Natasha Denise Torres Vasquez. Alan Alberto Udave. Enrique Valdez Jr. Jose Francisco Valtierra. Bretina Nicole Van Hooser. Margarita Vargas. Jaime Vasquez. Melissa Vasquez Oviedo. Jesse A. Vela. Carlos Vera. Adolfo Viegas. Ramiro Romo Weaver. Hannah Kyleen Weirich. Ellie Marielle Winger. Thank you. Philip Daniel Wirtz. Donovan White. Samuel W. Whitehead. Garrett Lynn Wildy. Brianna Lynn Wilson. Lisa Wood Grenewalt. Stephen Nicholas Worlds. Jacqueline Leanne Yazel. Brockton Michael Yoder. Shelby Diane Yoder. Jose Zacarias. Cesar Zamora Rodarte. Andrea Moreno.
Good afternoon. For those of you that don't know me, my name is in the bulletin. My name is Felipe Marino. I have the honor of being the president of the Board of Trustees of Goshen Community Schools. Buenas tardes. Para los que no me conocen, mi nombre es Felipe Merino. Yo tengo el honor de ser el presidente de la Junta Escolar de Goshen Community Schools. Today is your day, your very special day. You worked hard for this. But I want us to do something right now. Those of you that are in the audience that are either parents or help to raise these young people that are here. Quiero hacer algo en este momento. Los que son padres en la audiencia o los que ayudaron a criar estos jóvenes que están aquí, I want you to please stand up. Quiero que se pongan de pie. I want you to applaud them and thank them for all their hard work. Thank you, you may be seated. Life has many twists and turns, but you have to be ready for all of them. I love the speeches today because your classmates had it right on. Life isn't easy, but you have to be tough. You have to dream big, you have to work hard, and you never, ever quit. You get that? Can you guys repeat that with me? Just you guys. Dream hard. I mean, sorry, dream big, work hard, never ever quit. Let's do it again. Dream big, work hard, never ever quit. That should be your goal. Now I'm here, I think somebody's supposed to be standing next to me. Sorry, minor glitch. I'm here because I'm going to do the part that you've been waiting for four years. I get the honor and the privilege to do that. I'm going to ask you all to please stand up. I'm going to switch the order around because you guys tend to scream after I do the last part. So. Let's have you listen first. And follow Zoe, please. You may now move your tassel from one side to the other. And before I do what's authorized under law, and now that I have all your attention, you're standing before me, I want to leave you with one charge, one responsibility, one commission, and listen hard, and listen closely. If you are a citizen of the United States, and you are an adult, 18 years of age, prior to November's election, I want you to get out and register and vote. Too many people have fought and died here and abroad for that privilege. Don't let other people make decisions for you. Make your voice heard. Don't miss an election. Get out there and vote. And I also want to tell you that dreamers, I know you're out there. You have friends, you have family. We will always have your back. Now, by the power vested in me, by the Board of Trustees of Goshen Community Schools, and by the state of Indiana, I now pronounce you graduates of Goshen High School, class of 2018. Congratulations.
please remove your caps and please pray with me. You have brought a lot of people into this room. All of these people are here for one common reason, to celebrate the accomplishments of one or many of the graduates sitting in these chairs, perfectly aligned in rows, not many out of place. But this is not how we have been called to live our lives. We've had and will have so many opportunities to try new things, not follow the rules, and make our own way. But we will always be grounded by our roots. From these perfect rows like tree trunks, we will walk in paths that form the branches. The leaves, like our minds, will absorb all light and positivity and hope from our world and turn it into a fruit, despite all of the weeds and storms that may make us weaker. Help us to take all that we've learned about ourselves, others, and our world to be able to offer our ideas, perspectives, and understanding. Because a good world is a world where everyone's ideas and lives are seen as having importance. Thank you for all the family and friends and teachers who have been our witnesses and have encouraged us to finish this part of our journey with determination. And thank you for the opportunity to make our mark on the world and continue to make it better for our generation and the generations after, because we need to make our world last. In the name of our creator, provider, and peacemaker, amen.